Annyeonghaseyo! Hi everyone, this is Arielle, one half of Soju for Two, and it's sort of like a catch-up video, like sort of catching up everything that's been going on, things I've been doing. So I want to share a few things with you guys, and the first one is that today I got my contacts, and I, this was one of the things that I was a little bit worried about going to do, because I feel like when you do medical things, and you're not necessarily going to like an international clinic, it can be a little tricky. Um, and so I went near my house in Shincheon, so on Shincheon Road, um, when you come out exit 3 of the subway at Shincheon, you just want to walk straight um, on the left hand side of the street until <clears throat> you pass Uplex, which is like a giant red, um, you know, sculpture, and then keep going straight, and you're eventually going to hit a place called Eyewear, um, and right down the street from it, there's also an, uh, I think it's... AccuView um, store entirely. It's all AccuView, and then there's one I went to, Eyewear, which is all different types of contacts. Um, so I went to both to sort of check out the prices. The AccuView was um, the AccuView shop was actually two dollars more expensive than the Eyewear shop um, for the contacts that I wanted. And the contacts that I wanted um, were AccuView Advanced. And what I did was I brought the box that I had from home. And like the, this is probably the best thing I would say because the guy didn't speak really any English, but I showed him the box and my ridiculously high prescription for contacts, and he just walked over, picked up the box, and I just bought them. You don't have to have your prescription for them. You don't have to get an eye exam. You can just buy contacts here like that. So I got a box. It's two weeks supply, and it was eighteen thousand won, which is like seventeen dollars or sixteen fifty or something. So really cheap compared to what I used to pay at home. At home, for three boxes, for like a six-week supply, I would have to get an eye exam, all that. I think it probably cost me about $250. Um, so I think this was like extremely easy. And they gave me like a free um, contact case and like the normal things they give you, like a free um, solution. So really, really easy. And I'm so happy that I did that because I thought it might be like a bit of trouble, but it wasn't trouble at all. So I don't know. I'm sure all places are like that. Um, you can sort of go in and just and get it. I haven't tried to do an eye exam here yet, so I'll tell you guys about that when I do. But buying contacts, really, really easy. Um, the next thing, yesterday I went to a, um, a sticker photo booth with some of my friends. And I'll show you one of the stickers that we made. Um, let me see this one. Uh, so cute. So yeah, I, I made a little video when I was there, so I'll add that in here. <laughs> Okay, hi everyone. So right now I'm at Old Young and we just got our pictures done. I'll show them to you in a second. My friend Lindsay is cutting them. And the way we did this, we just came in, we looked at the screen, we made some uh, pictures here, and now we're going to draw on them. We're editing the pictures. And yeah, so that's what we did. We made um, some stickers and we just had a lot of fun. It was pretty cheap. It was 6,000 won to make um, a little sheet like this big of stickers. They also email you, they scan and email you the pictures so that you can have them on your computer as well. Um, and you get six stickers. To, well, you get the pen. You can pick the arrangement, but we sort of figured it would be best to get like six, so then we each have three. Um, and pretty like you know, decent sized ones. They make really little stickers and then they make like bigger ones that are like that big. So yeah, super cute and fun. So I really recommend that. We did that in Hongdae, um, right in front of Hongdae's main gates, the university, Hong University's main gates. There's sort of like a strip of like where Subway and Dos Tacos and like all these different things. There's right on the bottom level, there is a photo booth, which was really fun. Um, the next thing, yesterday morning, I went to Suwon which is a city outside of Seoul, but you can get to it from the Seoul subway. You can also take the KTX train, um, or take a bus, anything like that to get there. But the subway, it took me from Shincheon to, um, it took me about, let's see, I think 50 minutes to get there. The only tricky part was that um, if you're going from like Seoul, like northern Seoul, like I was coming from, Hong, um, from Shincheon, and you're going down, you have to make sure you're on the train that's going to be going towards um, Suwon as opposed to Incheon, the city. So if you get, if you realize like you go one stop past and you realize you're on the wrong part of the line, because the way line one works is there's a straight, there's one going down and there's one sort of going to the side going to Incheon. 
Um, it's the same line, just branches. So if you go one stop past and you realize you're on the wrong one, just get out and cross to the other side of the tracks um, or the other side of the train um, right there in front of you because you'll be on the right side. So it's a little confusing. So if you do go to Suwon and you're on the wrong train, just pay attention to the stops and you'll be able to tell if you're um, going the wrong way. And you can just get off and go to the other side. And I recommend that for anyone traveling here. Um, you can never get lost in the subway because you can always go out and go back to the other side. So don't stress out if you go the wrong way. We went the wrong way for like one stop and then went back. So pretty easy. Um, and then and Suwon's really cool. It's um, the Suwon Hwasong um, which is a fort, a forest, a fortress, and, um, it was, I think, like, it was a temporary palace there, um, there's a shrine for a king that made by his son, um, so it's a really cool place, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so, you know, I'll make a video, um, to post for you guys, because I want to visit all the, um, UNESCO Heritage Sites while I'm here, and, yeah, so it was really cool, they had an information center and all of those things, oddly, it was kind of deserted when we were there, I mean, it makes sense, it was a Monday, um, but, it was very deserted, and we took like a train, like trolley around the outside, and um, it was like a dragon thing. It was pretty cool. But the the area is sort of like you have these fortress walls that sort of look a couple hundred years old, obviously, and then inside you have this little tiny village, and they still have like it's not. I mean, there's a traditional like village, but there's also like a thing that has like TJ Fridays and things like that. So it is interesting. It's sort of a clash of like modern and um, old sort of traditional um, buildings and things like that but it was really cool to see and then I am leaving in two days to go to Vegas so I'm really excited and I'm gonna make a separate video about packing um, what I'm bringing with me it's really not that much because I'll be there for I'm gonna be in Vegas and then in San Francisco for one day um, on my way back so I'll be there for a couple days and I'm probably gonna be jet lagged but I'm gonna hope to not let the jet lag get to me um, I'm gonna do my best to sleep on the plane and sort of get as much rest as I can so I can have fun. My priorities when I get there, obviously see my family and be happy for my brother and sister-in-law. But I also want to get Chipotle and I want peanut butter and mems. So those are my priorities. Um, I'll post pictures and stuff and maybe take some videos for you guys when I get when I get there or when I'm on my way there. So I'm excited to go to Vegas. So check out my other video today. I'm going to do a video about the Oscars and the, the fashion, not about the like winners and about packing and I just watched episode 15 of Flower Boy Next Door and I was very excited about it because it's dramatic and the show is really I don't know if we have one episode left so I just want to see how it ends and like get my final opinions about it but I'm not sure if I'm gonna see it before I leave because I'm like running around the next two days like crazy person so we'll see um I haven't watched any other dramas because I've been so busy like hanging out with my friends and doing stuff because I want to get it all in before I leave and when I come back, I go straight to school. So I will be back in the swing of teaching and new students and all that stuff. So check out my other videos today, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everyone.